I think a, a number of people have felt a bit intimidated. Um, and, um, and when we have secret ballots, uh, there's uh, this terrible convention in the Australian Labor Party, often uh, used by some, called show and tell, mm -hmm. which means is that you fill out a yep. ballot and you show it to somebody yep. to show what you've done. Well, I just think people should be free of all that sort of pressure just yep. to, you know, uh, say what they want rather than go through this uh, crazy ritual. Kevin Rudd there a little earlier on Sunrise saying the caucus members should not be pressured into uh, voting one way or another. They should uh, vote with their hearts. Two of Labor's movers and shakers join us now, Graham Richardson and Bruce Hawker. Good morning again, Bruce. We're hearing reports Kevin Rudd will only get 29 votes to Julia Gillard, 73. Is that what you're hearing? Uh, I haven't heard anything to that effect at all, David. It'd be interesting if that did happen. Of course, that would mean his vote would be in inverse proportion to his popularity in the uh, community. So what are you hearing? What are your numbers at the moment? You've been working the phones over the weekend. Oh, well, I haven't been working the phones. I leave that to the politicians to do. But uh, I was hearing you know, reasonably positive numbers, but uh, they were still doing a lot of uh, phoning when I last spoke to Kevin. So if people are given an opportunity for a secret ballot, it could be a little bit better than uh, that's been predicted at the moment. But uh, I don't think anyone's kidding themselves that they think that otherwise and that the union uh, oh, sorry, that the factional bosses have really come in on top of this one and uh, made sure that people are voting according to their dictates. OK, so, Gr Graham, what sort of numbers are you hearing that Julia Gillard will win and have the faction bo boxes basically been uh, bullying for votes? Well, I think the vote is going to be, you know, very low 30s. But I, it's really a bit rich listening to Bruce and listening to Kevin Rudd earlier. It really is a bit rich. When Kevin Rudd got up, when Kevin Rudd beat Kim Beasley, I didn't hear anyone saying there shouldn't be a show and tell. Certainly not Kevin Rudd, because he needed it and he got it. And now, because that it's not convenient, oh, aren't these things terrible? You've got to be a bit consistent and you can't simply be a hypocrite all your life. Occasionally, you've got to admit to what's going on around you. And I think it's really sad that all this is coming up. Every faction, by the way, is split. There's no point in having a a show and tell in the New South Wales right. I know of at least six that are voting for Kevin Rudd. It's the same in both factions of the left. It's the same in the Victorian right. No faction is delivering everybody. Those sort of days are gone and gone forever. The problem that Kevin Rudd's got is he just can't get the numbers up. It's got naught to do with faction chiefs heavying anyone. This has been the least heavy ballot that I've ever seen. No one has been threatened. It's just rolling on and unfortunately for Kevin, it's rolling over him. Well, uh, Bruce, Kevin, sorry, Bruce. I was just going to say uh, on that, uh, you know, we know there have been instances of people actually having their pre-selections threatened in this contest. But no one is going to be like a lemming walking over a cliff if they're not being pushed. And that's the, uh, the problem that a lot of these people have got now. Anyone on a margin of less than 10% is in deep, deep trouble. We could lose 30 seats at the next election unless Julia Gillard gets a big bump in the polls in the coming weeks and months if she does win the ballot today. Okay. That's all true, except all right, the problem it. is no one accepts that Kevin Rudd can deliver the result. That's why the caucus <laughs> aren't voting for him. They don't believe he can deliver. The Australian public thinks he can do that. That's why we've been seeing polls all weekend saying, give us Kevin Rudd and we'll give you government. How many times have we got to tell you in the Labor Party we don't want Julia Gillard to be leading the country? Kevin Rudd was taken away from us in 2010. We want him back. The polls on the weekend showed that. They show that Labor will win and, uh, and win well if, La if Kevin Rudd can get across the line. Even in the worst circumstances we had to deal with last week, Labor was knocking on the door in two-party preferred terms when the question was asked, if Kevin Rudd was leading the, uh, the party, would you vote Labor? Uh, you know, that's the overwhelming view of the electorate right now. Well, I, I okay. think it, might, it may be the overwhelming view of the electorate, but how long would it last? That's the problem the caucus have wrestled with. Once the media turn on him, I, as they inevitably would, once the Liberals turn their guns on him, which they've left completely silent, then I think everything would change, and that's the view of the overwhelming majority. Well, Overwhelming uh, in that uh, caucus, uh, uh, and it's, it's not going to change, right, Bruce. Well, All right, Jets, I'll have to call, call time on <laughs> this round. You'll get a chance for another round a little later for now. Thanks for joining us.